In this video, I'm gonna tell you why you suck. Hey gang, it's Ron from ITMaskey.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So, I just got off of a coaching call with somebody and it made me think. So on this channel, I try to push you guys to get certified, push you guys to get better, push you guys to do the things that you need to do. And I had an epiphany, right? If you don't know what that means, go get the dictionary. So it just came to me right after I got off the phone that I hear an excuse that is fucking unacceptable about getting better, progressing, whether it's certifications, whatever it is. But since we're on this channel, we're gonna talk about certifications. So I'm running across my coaching clients and people that want to talk to me, people that want to join a program that are suffering from several different ailments. One, they're broke, right? Um, people that's making, you know, 30, $40,000 a year and they got families, they got kids, blah, blah, blah. And it's almost like on one hand, they're looking like, you know, I can't afford to uh, join my training or I can't afford to uh, go to school. I can't afford to pay for the test. I can't afford this. I can't afford that. In my mind, if you're only making thirty or forty thousand dollars, you can't afford not to get certified. You can't afford not to get a different skill set. You can't afford not to get a different job. Inflation is going like this. Price of stuff is going up. Wages are not, especially if you aren't skilled. So a lot of people are broke. That hurts your feelings. Oh well, it's the truth. Um, if you make less than 50k and 50k is the bare minimum even if you're making 50k you're broke um, another thing is people are telling me that they don't have time that they don't have time and like I said I you know try to push you guys to be better get certified and as I'm talking to people, as I'm going through life, as I'm looking at different things, how am I expecting you guys to get certified, to make time for that, when a lot of you won't even make time for your children? Yeah, let's talk about it. So I'm running across a lot of people that don't take care of their kids, man. Just because you in the same home with your kids, just because you see your kid every day, does not mean that you're raising your children, does not mean that you're taking time for your kids. I've been running into a lot of guys, especially, who, yeah, man, I work, you know, 12, 14 hours a day. Um, you know, I got kids, I got a family, da, da, da. And then I dig a little bit deeper. What kind of, ho what hobbies do you have? Oh, you know, I, I do uh, the pickup basketball league. Uh, you know, that's about 10, 15, 20 hours a week. Or I play video games 20, 30 hours a week. Or I watch Netflix, da, 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 da. It's just like, how the hell are you working all these hours, got all these hobbies, doing all this, all, doing all this other stuff, and you don't have time or you don't take the time you don't make the time you don't carve out time in your schedule to you know make sure that your kids is good and like i said it's on you man you know i can't i can't tell you how to raise your kids if you just on some high and buy type shit um to me that's no bueno you know you got to be hands-on with these kiddos i think or it seems like you would want to be right they're they're yours at the end of the day so the other thing that I'm seeing run across, uh, you know, an ailment or impediment or obstacle for a lot of you guys is just excuses. It's just excuse after excuse after excuse. Currently, I'm only getting about two or three hours of sleep. I have um, a lot of people depending on me. I have a to-do list that is not suggestions. It's, you know, stuff that I have to do every day. And I'm going balls to the wall you know, foot on the pedal as fast as I can to get these things done because not only do I have to, or not only do you guys hold yourself uh, accountable to yourself, you gotta, you know, you, it's, it's, it's even bigger when you are held accountable to, to others. So 
yeah, that's just what I want to tell you guys is that if any of these excuses is stopping you from getting in, into IT, if any of these excuses are getting or stopping you from getting a coach, getting a mentor, if any of these excuses are getting you or stopping you from getting certified, you suck. Man, that's it's just it's just plain and simple. Um, you know, when I was in a certain point in my life. You know, I made a decision. I knew that I had to make something happen. Like I said, if you have children, if you got a wife, boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, whatever, friend with benefit, whatever you got, if you got somebody <laughs> depending on you, man, you got to make some more money. You got to get a good skill set. You got to get a way to bring more revenue into your household. And I don't understand why it's so complex, right? Um, if I got to spend whatever, if I got to spend five thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, but it's going to multiply uh, what I currently have, that's what I'll do. And like I said, I think a lot of times uh, people have excuses, people have a limiting belief in themselves, and um, they don't think they can do it. Um, they kind of just looking for somebody to prove them right, you know, as far as you know that they suck. And I'm proving you right, right? If you think, if you fall into any of these categories, you're not trying to do anything to, to better yourself, you suck. It's a wrap. Um, and moving forward, uh, especially, um, you know, I think you guys probably already missed the window for open enrollment. So um, right now we're screening, you know, people for the program and we're not wasting any time. If you got excuses, if you got blah, blah, whatever the fuck the excuse is, stay on the sidelines. It's no problem, no hate, uh, no animosity, no hard feelings. Just stay over there. Just stay over there. If you if you complacent, if you cool with what you got going on, that's that's all right. But um, as I always say, winners win, right? And complacency is pretty close to death, as far as I'm concerned. If you're just doing the same shit over and over and over, not progressing, you can't tell the difference between today and ten years ago. What kind of life is that to lead? But like I said, gang, if you aren't progressing, if you have an excuse, that's another thing when I have um, coaching clients is if you get on the calendar, just be warned. This is the same person that's in this video is the same person that's going to be talking to you. If you're full of shit, I'm going to tell you so. Um, and you know, hopefully by the end of our little talk, our little discussion, you'll be um, a little less full of shit, right? Um, and like I said, the time for excuses is over with me. Technology, life, things in general are changing at a rapid pace and you still standing still. You still waiting for the next video of the game to come out. Are you still waiting for the next season of a power to drop or the next season of Game of Thrones or the next season of uh, Snowfall or the next season of whatever the hell you like, right? But you don't understand all this entertainment that you enjoy is somebody that worked their ass off to make that happen, right? Even even this this channel, right? I got hundreds of videos, literally hundreds of videos, right? For uh, educational purposes, I guess. But if you're just watching it, it's just entertainment. But like I said, um, if you watch this and you get riled up and you get motivated and then a damn cat fight video pop up right after this and you watch it what was the point right so long story short i'm practicing what i preach if i was in you guys position i would definitely take advantage of uh, people such as myself and the program that i offer or just somebody that can guide you in the right direction but if this video hurts your feelings if it make you feel some type of way if you want to type an angry comment do so do what you got to do but guess what it's not going to change my opinion <laughs> it's not going to change what i got going on if anything i would suggest if this video makes you angry it means that there's probably some truth in it and you need to take your ass in the bathroom look in the mirror tell yourself you suck but you're going to get better other than that i'll see you in class <laughs>